What up all, Darp here from Mindless Productions, continuing Fez, the complete everything ever guide. So, we are headed to the Bell Tower Zone this time around. And, uh, we got a lot to do. There is a lot to collect. So the very first thing we're going to do is not make the mistake I've been making so far. We're going to go ahead and go into this little, uh, purple door here. This leads us to the Corruption Room, which looks really freaking cool. And at the top of this room is an anti-cube, the whole purpose of it. Uh, the room itself is... I mean, there's nothing tricky about it. It's not like there's moving platforms or anything like that. It's just kind of hard to see, is it? So make your way through it carefully. Um, if you don't see anything, if you don't see anywhere to jump immediately, just rotate and there's probably something hiding there you just couldn't see. So it's, uh, I mean, there's not much to say about this one. I'll leave you to enjoy it. I will be back in a little bit um, to help out with the rest of the bell tower area. So see you in a minute. So we survived the corruption room. Back here at the main warp gate. Make your way back over to the um, to the bell tower area. And now we're gonna do everything in this room. Which this actual this main bell tower room has two bits and an anti-cube that requires a bit of puzzling to get. So I go in this room, you can honestly just ignore it for now, there's nothing we can do in it. I went ahead and went in. On the back side of this little island is a door that only opens with 64 cubes. So we, th we'll come back to this room once we've got everything uh, at the very end of the guide. So, we'll just make our way on up. This is just like all the other areas, honestly. Nothing too complicated. Unless you suck at the game. If you suck at the game, this is a very tricky area. Just saying. It is. See? There's gaps. There's turning. It's complicated. It was for me. Alright, so we're already at 17 cubes. Six videos in. We're over halfway done with our first playthrough. Alright, so here at the bell tower is a bit of a puzzle. The symbols on each of the sides of this bell are actually numbers. And you just have to ring the bell however many times it tells you to. So start on this side with the little U shape. And ring it once. My cool little graphics. I was very proud of those. The equal sign is six, clearly. Over here, three. And then finally, an annoying number, 10 times. There it goes. 
So at least for the trouble, we get an anti-cube. And... Yeah, that's about it. This area is pretty much done. So now we're heading on to the... To the rest of the rooms, I guess. I don't think there's really names for them, but... Alright, so, uh, there's this room. This room, this room is very, very tricky. Uh, and it's difficult to explain. So, in this game, just because you're rotating and it can only move on a 2D plane, it's still technically a 3D game. So, while it looks like there are only three glowing spots, there's actually nine total glowing spots here. And it's all about arranging these blocks so that when you stack... Because one block has to be on top of another, but only one. And when you stack them, it has to make the different shapes on each side here. So you saw I was on the back side of the area, pushed the one block over, just once to the right. You can see me spinning it, making sure I've got it in the right spot guy it's this is a difficult puzzle this took me a while to figure out I had to draw maps I've got diagrams sitting here on my desk this is this one took me quite a while that was a terrible throw all right so with the uh, reverse L ish shape it's where you want to put the block in the middle and kind of get an idea where all the blocks are so after a while of this oh and once you put a block up on here try not to rotate because um, it may knock it out of place. I say up on here. I'm pointing at the screen. I'm hoping you can see that. No, uh, up on this little top level. Don't rotate. So when it's done, it's done. There you go. Any cube. That one actually took me probably over an hour. Just sitting here trying to fiddle with it. And I have diagrams. I made diagrams. I've never had to make a diagram for a game. I, I have... God, that puzzle, that puzzle affected me. That was not cool. All right, so the rest of this is, in comparison, simple. So I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the bell tower, or at least the first part of the bell tower, um, and I'll see you in part two. So, uh, peace out, y'all.